It's become increasingly common uh, for employers to offer severance packages um, when they terminate an employee. If an employee is dissatisfied with the amount of severance on the table, it's generally preferable uh, to have a consultation with an attorney. And if there are legal claims uh, to, be, to be used uh, as leverage, to have an attorney to negotiate uh, an increase to the severance package. There are three factors uh, that generally weigh in on uh, whether or not a severance package is fair or, uh, or might be enhanced. Um, by far, the most important is are there legal claims um, that are viable options for the employee to pursue in lieu of accepting the severance? The second consideration uh, that's incredibly important is whether or not there's some sort of practical leverage uh, that the employee may have. Uh, so ignoring the strength or weaknesses of the legal claims, is there something else uh, that's out there that we can use as leverage to get the negotiations um, going on an increase to the severance package? The third consideration, um, and it's kind of related to the practical considerations, are uh, whether or not um, the person is in an executive or professional position. Um, you know, sadly, I just, you know, the experience that I've had is that blue collar workers, um, employers tend to be uh, more intransigent in increasing severance packages than they are when you're dealing with professionals or executives. An additional consideration uh, in severance negotiations is uh, or the years of service uh, that the employee has. Um, and as a general rule, the, you know, the more years an employee has that's being laid off or terminated, um, the more likely an employer is going to be willing to um, increase a severance package offer.